Hey, Video Game Hunter here, and welcome to my video. And today, we are going to be looking at some eBay games that I bought during my early days of game collecting, and judging the gameplay quality to today's eBay value, and see if they're still worth picking up today. So that being said, let's go and give these games a look. Alright, so let's take a look at the very first game that I bought on eBay, which was... Mortal Kombat, the ultimate fighting game for the Super Nintendo. Which is, the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat is, I still think it's still okay, but I understand people not liking it as much as the Sega Genesis version, since the Super Nintendo one did face some censorship, like, the blood got turned into sweat, and some of the fatalities got altered, which... I'm not gonna lie, some of the fatalities that, that got altered in the game, it actually didn't look too bad. But you still got that one really bad Johnny Cage one where all he does is just simply kicks you and that's it. That was pretty lame to be honest. But that being said, I paid $2.76 back then. And let's see what Mortal Kombat is going for now on eBay. Which you can see I already typed this in because believe it or not I actually had to re, um, redo this part of the video because I forgot to hit the recording on my desktop. So anyway, let's go and search. And there it is. And I remember if I remember correctly I just bought the cartridge. And the loose cartridge is going for about $13.97. Not gonna lie, it went, even though it went up slightly, I still say it's worth around there. So yeah, I say you'll get your money's worth for the gameplay wise. <laughs> so the next game we are gonna be looking at is, ah, oh, here we go, Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World. Now this game is actually pretty darn awesome because um, not only does it have Super Mario All-Stars, which is a compilation pack, that contains um, classic NES games like Super Mario 1, 2, 3, and even a Japanese exclusive at the time until now, the original Super Mario Bros. 2 that was again a Japanese exclusive. And um, even though that's all great and all, but now you have the latest edition of the Super Mario games that recently came out at the time, Super Mario World. So you get like a bunch of Mario games in one. And at the time, I paid about $25. And what is it going for now? Cartridge only. It is going for about $35.35. Not gonna lie, a slight price increase, which again, I paid $25 for. I still say for $35, you'll still get your money's worth with all those classic games in there. So yeah. Not slight bump, but I still say it's still worth the price. All right, next, 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 next. Uh, how about ooh, this one? This one's actually pretty interesting. I have somewhat of a story on this one. Chrono Trigger on Super Nintendo. I actually was recommended this game by my little brother, to be honest, and he's not a uh a retro guy or really into RPGs. I actually just remember asking him does he know any good RPGs for Super Nintendo which is a weird question question for me to ask because he doesn't play Super Nintendo. But um, he actually told me that he heard a game called Chrono Tigger and he heard it through um, G4 back in the day. I was like alright. I went on eBay and I found a copy obviously for 40 bucks. And what came in the mail was actually pretty amusing because the guy um, shipped it in a um, in a doggy treat box. No joke, he shipped the game in a doggy treat box. Which I guess there's nothing wrong with it because um, there was no crumbs or anything in there that dirtied the game. But I just find that pretty amusing. So amusing that I actually showed... Uh, Box to my mom is telling her, Hey mom, look, I bought a doggy treats online. And I remember her um, asking me, Why did I buy doggy treats online? 
And I simply said, um, because I can now, because I have a job. But I eventually did tell her that, um, oh no, the game I bought was shipped in the doggy treat box. But anyway, that being said, Chrono Trigger, it is, in fact, a great RPG with multiple, multiple of endings. And not only does it have multiple endings, but I love the battle feature in the game. Because instead of... I'm running into enemies randomly, you just run into an enemy and the battle just starts right there and then. So if you don't, if you're very sick of randomized um, characters and all those loading screens, this is the game for you because you, again, you go straight into the battle. So that being said, again, I paid 40 bucks for this game. And uh, let's see what's going for now. Right here, and it is going for... Holy shit, $229. Oh damn, I am so glad I bought this game when I did. Holy crap. Uh, and not only did I just buy the game, it also came with the manual. So how much does the um, game's worth if it comes with a manual? Let's see. Well, it has manual only price, but I don't see a uh, game with manual. So, if I'm going to take an educated guess, I'm going to say with manual might be $300 or maybe $280. I don't know. It's just an educated guess, judging by the numbers. And the next game we are going to be looking at is... Oh, uh, here we go. Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. Now, this game was a must-buy for me when I started collecting for the Dreamcast. And that is because this is one of those few arcade machines I was able to play back in the day. And boy, who came up with this idea of two completely different companies fighting each other? You got Capcom, who are known for their video games. Then you got Marvel, who are known for their superhero comic books. Who came up with the idea of having these two go at each other in a fighting game? Well... Since Capcom is in the lead of the project, I would say they did an excellent job leading it. Because, um, you know, they are the company that made the Street Fighter games. So you know they are in good hands. So that being said, uh, let's go look, see how much I paid for this game. And I paid $33.76. And how much is it going for now? It is going for... $87.28 and I'm not gonna lie I would most likely would have paid for that if I didn't own the game but luckily I do though but I'm just saying some may not pay for that price because it's kind of high but to me I would definitely would since it was such a fantastic fighting game back in the day spider sting so the next game we're going to be looking at is Mordecai Gold for the Dreamcast which, I am not gonna lie, I really didn't like this one. Which is weird because this is an updated version of Mortal Kombat 4, which came out on the PlayStation N64. But for whatever odd reason, this so called updated version was so broken. And I mean broken, like, one of the fine examples I can give was Set Towards Fatality. It's when he does a little flamethrower on your opponent. And your opponent, for what I've been told, was supposed to be running around on fire, like with Scorpion's Fatality. But mine looks like a broken animation mess. My god. And I've been told this was supposed to only happen with the original version when it came out. There's an updated version where they stamp new, which is supposed to fix all these bugs. But the thing is... My copy does have the new stamp, and it still has that sectal fatality bug in it. So, if you have a working Mortal Kombat Gold copy, I say congrats, because I sure don't. But, let's go ahead and look at the price and compare what it goes for now. Let's see. I paid $18.99, and I think I paid way too much for my copy, especially in the states it's in. And Mortal Kombat Gold complete goes for 
$47.89. And yes, I'm looking at the hot new version. And I'm going to say it. If you can manage a actual working copy of Mortal Kombat Go that doesn't have bugs, I would say this might be worth the price. But it's the broken one. I would just say try get your money back. Because a broken copy, you should not be charged for this much. I think you'd be, be charged a lot lower than 20 bucks. Yeah! Alright, I will do one more game. And the last game we are going to be looking at is... Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. And just like the first game, this is one of those few arcade machine games I was able to play back in the day. And boy, this game was definitely an upgrade from the first one. Not only do you have more characters to choose from from the Marvel and Capcom side, but you also get to be able to pick three characters this time instead of two. And boy, do I remember the battles that would go crazy. Hell, this is one of those games I remember my friend who I started hanging out from work. We played the shit out of this game. And we sometimes still do um, on our yearly, yearly RK Expos. But that being said, um, let's go and check out how much I paid. I paid $50 for my copy, which according to this, it was new and mint. So how much is this game going for? It has to be going up there now. Especially since the first game went up in price. This one definitely did. Let's see. Alright, a complete copy for Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is going for around... $144. Yep, I knew it was going up there. Yep. Yeah, I don't blame you guys not wanting to spend that much money just for one game. But knowing me and the fact how much I love growing up with the arcade machine, I would definitely would have paid this much. Yes, sirree. You bet you ass I would. And that's it for today. Are there any eBay items that you glad you bought during your early days of game collecting compared to today's now eBay value? And would you buy that game again, judging by the gameplay quality, to today's eBay value? If so, please leave a comment down below. If not, also please leave a comment down below. But that being said, this is the Video Game Hunter, and until next time, goodbye. Just the walls fall down. This is